we have this multiplication in front of us. 948 into 827. Now, what is the usual way in which we will multiply these two numbers? Well, we will simply place them like this and then we will start multiplication. 7 into 8 is 56 and 5 is carried over. Now, 7 into 4 is 28. 28 plus 5 will be 33. So, we will write 3 here. That is the units place 3 and the tens place 3 will be carried over. Now, 7 into 9. 7 into 9 is 63. Now, 63 plus 3 is 60. 6. So, this is what we get in the first step. Now, in the second step, we put a cross here and then we will start multiplying with 2. So, 2 into 8 is 16. So, we write 6 here and 1 is carried over. Now, 4 into 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9. And 9 into 2 is 18. So, this is the next step. Now, we will multiply by 8. So, 8 into 8 is 64. So, we place 2 crosses here. And then, we write 4. And 6 of the tens place is carried over. Now, 8 into 4 is 32. Now, 32 plus 6 is 38. So, we write 8 here and 3 of the tens place is carried over. Now, 9 into 8 is 72. 72 plus 3 is 75. So, so now what we will do? We will add these. So, we will perform addition. So, 6 will come down as it is. We, here we have 6 plus 3, 9. Here we have 4 plus 9, that is 13. 13 and 6 is 19. So, we take 9 and 1 is carried over. So, now we have 8 plus 8, that is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. 22 plus 1 will be 23. So, 3 comes here and 2 is carried over. Now, 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 7 comes down as it is. So, we have 7, 8, 3, 9, 9, 6. So, this is the final answer. Now, this is the usual approach to solve this particular problem. But, is this the only way in which we can multiply these two numbers? Not really. We have another very interesting method. So, let's see what that method is. For that method, we'll have to make such a grid. So, we have three digits here and three digits here. So, we make a grid which is 3 into 3. That is, we have 9 squares in this. Right? Now, we place the digits just like you can see. Okay? So, in this horizontal position, we have these three digits and in this vertical position, we have three digits. Now, the next step is to divide each of the squares. So, we diagonally divide each of the squares. Right? So, in every square, we have two divisions. Now, we'll start multiplication. So, first of all, we'll multiply 9 into 8. So, 9 into 8 is 72. So, we write 7 here and 2 here like this. So, tens digit goes here and units digit goes here. Now, we'll multiply 4 into 8. So, what will we get? 4 into 8 is 32. So, 3 here and 2 here. Now, in this square, we have 
8 and 8. So 8 into 8 is 64. So 6 and 4. Now let's come to this square. Now in this square what do we have? We have 9 here and 2 here. So this will be 9 into 2. 9 into 2 is 18. 1 and 8. Now for this we have 4 and 2. So 4 into 2 is 8. Now 8 is a single digit number. But we have 2 places. So what we will do is we will place 0 in the tens place and 8 here. Now what about this square? We have 8 and 2. So 8 into 2 is 16. So 1 and 6. Now let's come to this square. In this square we have 9 on this side and 7 on this side. So this will be 9 into 7. So 9 into 7 is 63. So 6 and 3. Next we come to this square. Here we have 4 and 7. 7 into 4 is 28. So 2 and 8. Now here we have 7 into 8. Now 7 into 8 is 56. So this is how we write all the numbers. So this is how we will get the final picture. Now what is the next step? Well in the next step we add these numbers diagonally. So we will start from here. Then we will add these. Then these. Then these, then these, and finally this. So, in the starting, we have just six, we have nothing else to add to it. So, this six will come as it is. Now, let's consider this diagonal. In this diagonal, we have six, five, and eight. So, six and five is eleven, eleven and eight is nineteen. So, we will write the units digit here 9 while 1 will be carried over. So, we will write 1 here. Now, we will add these numbers which are there diagonally. So, we have 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 8, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 plus 4, 18 and 18 plus 1. So, 19. So again write the units digit here that is 9 and 1 is carried over. So we write 1 here. Now in this diagonal we have 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 0 will be 8, 8 plus 8 will be 16, 16 plus 6 will be 22 and then we have 1 carried over. So 22 plus 1, 23. So we write 3 here and 2 is carried over. So we write 2 here. So we have 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6 and 6 plus 2 which is carried over. So 6 plus 2 is 8. And finally we have 7 here. So 7 comes as it is. So what do we get? 7, 8, 3, 9, 9, 6. And this is the solution to this multiplication. So when we multiply 9, 4, 8 to 8, 2, 7, we will get 7, 8, 3, 9, 9, 6. So final answer will be 7, 8, 3, 9, 9, 6. This is the final answer. Now if you see when we multiplied in the usual method, we got this answer 7,83,996. So definitely our calculation using this method is also correct. And what do we call this method? This method is called lattice method of multiplication. So as you can clearly see, this is nothing but a grid or a lattice. And within this lattice, we have all these numbers which we have placed, which gave us the final answer, which is exactly same as what we have calculated using the normal multiplication method. So this is also a method by which you can multiply different numbers.
So now let's see another example. So here we have 312 into 64. So here we have a three digit number and a two digit number. So first of all, for the three digit number, we'll have three columns and how many rows will we have? Well, we have a two digit number. So we'll have two rows. So total of six squares. So how do we decide the size of the grid? Well, size of the grid will be the number of digits of both of them. So we have three here and two here. So grid will be three into two, which is six. So we'll have six squares in the grid. So this is how we decide how many squares we will have in the grid. Now let's come to the calculation part. So what is the first step? First step is to divide each square diagonally. So we'll divide each square diagonally. This is how it will look. Now we'll start multiplying. So for this square, we have three here and six here. So six into three, 18, one and eight. Now we have in this square one and six, that is six. So we'll write zero and six. For this square, we have six into two, 12, one and two. For this square, four into three. So 12, one and two. What about this? One into four. So that will be zero, four. And for this, it is four into two, eight. So zero and eight. So this is what we have. Now, using this lattice, can you find the solution for 312 into 64? What do you think is the right answer? Well, the right answer can be calculated by adding these numbers diagonally. So 8 has nothing else to add. So we'll write 8 as it is. Now here we have 4 plus 0 plus 2. That is 4 plus 0 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So we write 6 here. Now in this diagonal we have 1 plus 6 that is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Now let's come to this diagonal. So we have 0, 8 plus 1. So that is 9 again. And 1 can be written as it is. So this is the final answer. 1, 9, 9, 6, 8. So when we multiply 312 with 64, we get 1, 9, 9, 6, 8. And we were able to solve it using the lattice method of multiplication. So this is also an interesting method of multiplication and you can try more numbers and more multiplications using this method. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.